Hey guys and welcome back to Captain Jasper. Today I'm going to go through a typical day in my life in the springtime with six pets. Every day can be different, especially depending on the season, the weather and what we have to do that day. But I'm going to take you through our main routines and how we structure our day with six pets. Before we continue, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I wake up around 7am each day and go downstairs to some very excited bunnies. I give them a cuddle and a piece of dandelion root to start their day. Usually Fred hears the commotion and wakes up for a cuddle and to be let out for his morning pee. Sometimes he just wakes up for the cuddle and goes straight back to bed though, which is super cute. Once I've given out the morning cuddles, I'll go and make some coffee. If Fred is still awake, we occasionally do a training session. Just some basic commands and tricks to keep his mind active. As he's gotten older, he's more into napping than training. But we used to do this every morning. I will also go and say good morning to Maggie, our snake. But she's usually burrowed down under her substrate in the morning and doesn't surface until the afternoon. But I don't want her to feel left out. Maggie has recently shed and was fed a couple of days ago. She only eats every two weeks as snakes do not require daily feeding, unlike the rest of my pets. She does, however, require fresh water and for her house to be at the right temperature. So it's good to check that in the morning, in case she pooped in her water or something has happened to her heat mat. After I've made coffee, I will take the bunnies their breakfast, which in the spring is fresh grass and herbs from our garden. I'll have my coffee while the bunnies have their breakfast and Fred usually has a treat and then goes back to bed. For breakfast, I make an almond milk and fruit smoothie every day. This really helps me start my day. And I have terrible stomach issues and acid reflux, but this really helps me and is something I make sure that I do every day. Although I think I need to invest in a new tripod. Since mine broke and filming without one ends up to be a whole lot of mess. The chickens usually start calling to come out around 8am in the spring, as this is when the sun is really starting to come out over the garden. They'll be let out into the garden and given some layers, pellets and corn, and then let to free roam. At around 9am, Fred is starting to get hungry, so I'll make his breakfast. He will usually munch this down and then go back outside to do his morning business. I'll be doing a video in the coming weeks on feeding all my pets, and we'll be going into more detail about what I feed them. If anyone wants to see what the bunnies eat in a day, there is already a video on this in our Rabbit Nutrition and Feeding series, and it's episode 2. It covers exactly what I feed the bunnies in a typical day, but it can vary depending on the season and availability of food in the garden. After everyone's had their breakfast, I will usually tidy up the house. I clean up the bunnies' litter tray every two days, and I have a video on how I do that, and I'll link that in the top corner. After I've tidied, I'll block the bunnies off so I can go upstairs and get washed and dressed. I've been using a banana and shea butter hair mask every day, which is helping keep my hair not free. When I come back down, it's usually around 11am, and if it's a nice and sunny day, I will let the bunnies out into the garden. They usually run for about an hour and then come back in for their afternoon nap, unless it's a really nice day, and then they'll stay out longer. I'll then have some lunch and do some work on some videos for Captain Jasper until Fred and the bunnies wake up around 3 or 4pm. After Fred wakes up from his nap, I'll take him for his walk and then we come home and have dinner. If it's a nice evening, the bunnies will go back out for another hour or two until around 7pm. But if it's raining or horrible, the chickens will be put up and we'll start our movie night early. As you've probably guessed from our Insta stories, I am obsessed with movies and we pretty much watch one every night, especially as we're still working from home and unable to go out. Movie nights have been the highlight of lockdown for me. During this time, I will also either do yoga or workout every night, which I only started doing daily during lockdown. And then I'll let the bunnies eat their dinner off me. I will also take the time to brush Fred and the bunnies, clip their nails if needed, and generally give them a little once over to check that they're all healthy. I will visually health check all my animals throughout the day when I interact with them to ensure they stay happy and healthy. This is a great way to catch illness or injury early. At around 10 or 11 o'clock, we'll go upstairs to bed 
and either watch something or just fall asleep. And yeah, that's a pretty typical day. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.